Today, I'll let you know if the free range, single barrel, barrel string store picks are worth your money. There's hundreds of great whiskeys out there. Unfortunately, we don't have the money to buy them all. So today, I'll let you know if this bottle right here is worth your money and the time to actually hunt it down. So this video is actually brought to you by John. In my whiskey haul video a couple weeks back, John was one of the first ones to comment with a request. His request, the Frey Ranch Single Barrel Barrel Strength. So thank you so much for the comment and this video is for you. Frey Ranch is known as a farmer to glass distiller. As in, they slow grow their own grains just for their whiskeys. They distill, age, and bottle all on their site at the ranch. Kobe Frey, co-founder and CEO, and along with the distilling team, hand selects each barrel for their single barrel program and is currently only available either at their distillery or through store picks like this one through Total Wine and More. Freight Ranch bourbons are made using the four grain mash fill, which include a non-GMO corn, winter cereal rye, winter wheat, and two row barley. All single barrel bottles are non-chill filtered and is aged at least five years old. Proof of this bottle is 128.04 or 64.02% ABV. The mash fill of this bottle is 67% corn, 11% rye, 10% wheat, and 12% barley. All right, enough talking, more drinking. Opening ceremonies. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. Oh, that was a good one. That was nice. Here you go, the pour. Perfect. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Well, I'm gonna fast forward through my experience so you guys get the results faster. I'll see you guys at the other side. Wow, what an experience. Let's get right to it. The notes came in a little hot, but once you get used to the proof, I wrote down almond, cherry, vanilla oak, and honey. It's a smooth sweetness. Yeah, so I wrote down if you put cherry, vanilla oak, almond, cinnamon, and honey, dried it up, grounded it, put it in a bottle and make it a baking spice, that's what it would smell like. And it was surprisingly great. On to the palate, hot honey. So it came in hot with the proof, but you get that buttery, smooth honey sweetness that I got from the note. And then obviously it goes into a little bit of baking spice, mostly cinnamon, but it goes into a more of a dark chocolate, smooth sweetness, complex, sweet, and very satisfying. I mean, you could, the palate really highlights the four grains, right? You get the honey, the sweetness from the corn, you get these spices from the rye and a little bit of barley, but you get that dark chocolate, sweet bitterness from the wheat. And so you get uh, the full experience of bourbons, but all in one bottle. Very tasty. <laughs> all right. The finish, I wrote down dark chocolate, spice, and then that oaky coffee bitterness. That bitterness at the end was, hmm, it made it where I wanted to go back for the sweetness. It is delicious. So overall score for experience, 8.8. .8. I mean, you get the full four grain experience. You get the sweetness, the spice, and the sweet bitterness that you get at the finish, the palate and finish. Oof, ah, I gotta say, I am pleasantly surprised and I am happy I grabbed this one. Allocation score, it's a three. It's really hard to find. Since it's only store picks or at distillery, uh, I saw it once, but I haven't been able to see it since. I don't say unicorn, but it's it's a difficult bottle to find. Price, paid $100 for this. It does range from about 80 to 120. So I did pay in the middle, but I couldn't wait for that 80. I had to buy it at 100 because I just didn't even know when I was gonna see it again. Overall, even though the taste is fantastic, it's a hold. Try before you buy. The taste, is fantastic but you do have to do a lot of hunting you have to spend a lot of time looking for it and if you find it it might be a hundred dollars or up to 120 sometimes and that gets really expensive if it's that expensive it shouldn't be that hard to find right if you see it on the shelf just by luck or by accident or somebody finds it for you and it's 80 90 dollars buy it but in order to look for it spend your time doing it especially if you live in the East Coast where I heard it's non-existent. Yeah, it's, it's a hole. Thank you so much for the view. I greatly appreciate every one of you. 
please subscribe if you like this content. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.